Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's Mohammed Al Andalusi here, founder of AndalusInstitute.com. And, um, and yeah, I just felt like, uh, like I had to do this video today, man. It's been three weeks, three Fridays. On Friday, I have a notification that comes up that says on Saturday, uh, it's your, du your duty to post a YouTube video. And, um, and I'm always, uh, it's always hard for me to, to get in front of the camera. So today I said, khalas inshallah, we are going to break this bad habit of not doing. And as well, thinking about the, the, satisfaction, that, the satisfa satisfaction that you get after you, uh, you know, after you, you do something that you say you was going to do. So, uh, so inshallah, I'm going to benefit you guys with a little bit of uh, what I was doing. So as you guys know, um, uh, you know, I am the founder of an online institute for Arabic. Uh, and so tomorrow we have the, An the Andres Institute Vocabulary Apocalypse Contest. Now this contest is a contest uh, is, as simple, is as simple as me asking to the students um, where every student gets a certain amount of questions asked the first round 10 questions second round 20 questions 30 questions so in all together they get asked 65 questions if they get there because there's only uh, uh, you can only make three mistakes per round basically so if you get there then there's a final so anyways long story short where I'm trying to uh, to uh, to um, to tell you guys and share with you is that I basically this test passed and successfully accomplished uh, the first 10 lessons of the second module so the first module is what we call acquiring the necessary knowledge in reading and writing now once the student is done with that and the introduction as well which is a lot to do with discipline and how to sleep what to eat how to focus how to uh, you know the lead uh, you know distractions, etc., things like that. In a more, um, in a more holistic type of, you know, on how to basically adapt your lifestyle and how to change your, your lifestyle in case you have not the lifestyle that is optimized to learn a new language. In this case, the Arabic language. Then how to do that? Uh, to do it twice as fast. So, uh, so I was getting ready. The 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 the, the you see the, the the exam for tomorrow and we have only students who passed uh, the first question I mean the first 10 lessons of the second module so I guess I'm getting a little bit distracted like I tell you guys is is right now literally in between Maghrib and Aisha and uh, and these perhaps is something that I want to talk about but about as well how I divide my my work my deep work to against my creative work which is basically when my brain is not it's not you know sharp anymore like I, I need to think the words and I'm tired basically now I'm thinking that you know what to do in the next hour because I'm supposed to be sleeping in the next hour but anyways what I was trying to say subhanallah how many minutes it took us to get here five minutes so what I was trying to say is that we're getting ready the, the exam for tomorrow. We start at 9, 9 a.m. in the morning. And I was counting actually the amount of vocabulary that the students gained in the first 10 lessons of module number two only. And there is around, you know, like 50 lessons. So just on the first 10 lessons, the students, they, they have gained on average, those who have memorized correctly, uh, sharp, how we you know how we have optimized the program to be uh, memorized they have around 550 new pieces of vocabulary and there is some parts like for example this lesson right here which is basically uh, I would say the more the most complicated lesson in the first in the second module in the first 10 lessons which is the Damair uh, al-Muttasila bil-Rafi' which is like I told my, my students a big milestone 
because once you understand this and you know how to use this fluently, uh, if you knew before knowing this, if you knew before knowing this, 50 pieces of vocabulary in between, um, or let's just say verbs, if you knew 50 different conjugations uh, in terms of verbs. So what I mean by conjugations is, you know, for example, the have a is have the have one, as in he when he goes go uh, in the in the name of the of that action. Then, then if you know how to use this. You basically now know how to say I went, he 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 went, she went, they went, they went for women, they both went, and then he goes and she goes and he goes and I go and basically your voc your vocabulary goes from knowing fifty pieces of vocabulary to knowing five hundred pieces of vocabulary just because of the amount of variations that you can that you can use uh, these you know, this sky that this rule which is on how to use the Dhamayr Muttasila bin Rafi. And then other as well we have as well like for example, you know, Dharf Makan Lada Bimana Inda. Uh we have as well many different pieces of vocabulary, names and 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 um, as in nouns and its plurals, um verbs the conjugation of verbs, as I was telling you guys, stajari, 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 stijarun. And it's literally, it's literally amazing. I was looking at it and I was like, subhanAllah, like, like, you know, sometimes I forget, and not to brag or anything, but sometimes I forget uh, what we have going on with uh, with the team at under the Institute. If you follow the program, it's just like, like it would be really hard for me to see someone you know going through this program and and not i mean they, they basically what i'm trying to say is that it is impossible that if you apply what we tell you to to do that you don't succeed and you don't become fluent in arabic in in 50 months so um literally as well the idafa on how to say you know this muhammad's book for example uh you know different things like that but anyways uh, like i said guys i just wanted to make this video and uh, and, and share this fact that this benefit with you guys <coughs> um at the same time uh, i encourage you guys as well if you, if you guys haven't been part of the of the of the of the webinar yet the webinar that we have going on in um in andersinstitute.com uh which basically shows you how to become fluent in Arabic in 15 in 15 months and what the path would look like. At the end as well, I offer you guys a a book which I will show you right now. I hand out this beast right here, which is as you can see, you're gonna get this um, this 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 book on how to attain fluency in 15 month game plan. You're gonna get it digitally. So if you stay until the end of the webinar, um, you're gonna get the 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 basically the 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 digital format of these uh, which is basically a game plan literally like fluency in 15 month game plan game plan Allah, sorry guys i'm tired uh where you basically gonna get all the steps uh simplified on how to attain fluency literally twice as fast as anyone else there is how many students that joined our program and they they said that they they were studying Arabic for for five years the max I've heard is ten years and still cannot uh, speak Arabic understand the Quran understand the hadith the average khutbah in Arabic you know uh, it's, it's really it's really a blessing I think it's a life lifetime goal that any Muslim should have so um, so we literally changing the game right here uh, you know and trying to to get this this um, to get this dream accomplished by the, 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 the those who really want to to accomplish it. So I recommend you guys to, to attend the webinar. You probably will find a link below this video. And uh, and as I say guys, um, you know I just wanted to share this with you guys and at the same time I wanted to put some pressure on my students because they see me dropping a video about tomorrow and talking about the the pressure that I'm gonna put on them in the com in the contest and the and how the questions how hard they are going to be because they think 
they will be as the, the, the revisions that we had this last week. We had a few Zoom revisions with all the students that are supposed to, to be part of this contest. And I was asking, asking them on purpose easy questions. So now they think that, oh, it's, it's going to be an easy contest. But, uh, but definitely, I got ready some, some crazy, tricky questions that you can see all in here that inshallah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show too much so, so no one screenshots the, the, the screen and then checks the questions. But, um, but yeah guys, this is all I wanted to, to share with you and I hope you guys benefit from this and I will try and do uh, videos of benefit of dif different things because I'm, you know, and the, the students in AndersInstitute.com, they know how, how, um, you know, what will be the word? Obsessed, I will say, I am about discipline and, and, and things that will, that are outside of the, the fact of learning Arabic, but they indirectly, you know, determine the, the amount of, or the, the quality of performance you have into this, mainly studying, memorizing Arab, the Arabic language in this case, and obviously memorizing the Quran and different uh, and different fields in the in the studies of the of uh, in the Islamic studies basically. So um, so that's what I would like to to start sharing with you guys uh, in the next few videos. And obviously, if you guys comment me below and tell me what you guys would like to see, I know a lot of people would like to to see Mauritania and um, and the Mahabir in the desert, etc. But um, but uh, and that's definitely in my mind. But I would like to see other other suggestions as well. And uh, this is all I would say. Uh, and I hope you guys liked it and benefited from it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.